binary division. Binary division is going to provide some of you with the same kind of problems that you encountered when you had to do long division at school. Now, I know as a maths teacher that long division isn't something that everyone jumps to with great enthusiasm. Um, what I would recommend is that you follow these, this video particularly carefully. You try the examples out. But you also understand that for a human being to do binary division, it's very long-winded. And what you might discover is that what the computer does later on is much simpler. So let's start with an example. The best place to start, we are going to take the number, and I'm going to try to fit this onto a single slide, but I might not be able to. 1, 1, 0, and I'm going to divide it by, and I'm going to use different colours here, 1, 0. This is the example from the sheet that you have. So, just as in, just as in normal division, you start by taking this and dividing it into the first digit. Well, this is bigger than this, right? So, we can't do it. We then take the first two. And we say, how many of those go into this? Well, I can see, and if I sketch it out over here, you, hopefully you'll see it as well, that 1, 0 plus 1 equals 1, 1. So what that means is that there is a 1, 0 in this 1, 1, right? There's one of them, but there's a little bit left over. Okay, so we'll, let's, let's go through the process. So what we do first of all is we say there's 1, and then we multiply that by that, and we create a subtraction here underneath. And we have that subtraction. Now I'm going to put a bracket around this because it gets really confusing if we don't. Um, let's use a different colour. So what we do here is we do a subtraction. Now, just like all of the things we've said before about subtraction, it can get very messy and very complicated. So let's do it a column at a time. We'll start there. 1 take away 0 is, as you know, 1. Shift the column. 1 take away 1. That's nice and simple. That just gives me 0. OK, so rather than write 0 in that column, what we tend to do is just not write anything. What do we do next when we do long division? Next up, we take this digit and we drag it down and we pop it there. And the next question we ask is how many of those go into those? Well, 1 clearly does, right? Because if you multiply that by 1, you would get that. We put that result up here. And then we follow this procedure where we multiply it down and pop it underneath and subtract. Now, I'm going through that quite quickly. And what I would recommend is that you go through it quite slowly um, so you're confident with it. And let's just follow it through to the end. We've got this. Let's put brackets around things just so we don't get muddled. It's all of that minus all of that, right? OK, so what is the answer? Let's use a different colour. Well, we've got 0 minus 0. Hang on a second. 0 minus 0, which will give us a 0. And we've got next column, 1 minus 1, which gives us a 0. So that's how you would proceed with long division. Now, if that looks confusing to you, I would just try it yourself. <clears throat> try to think the process through yourself. There are exercises, <coughs> excuse me, there are exercises to be done in the core exercises. We've included them, but not many. And we've included these exercises because we want you to appreciate that you can divide these numbers. OK, by doing it and trying it out yourself, um, what it will hopefully help you do is understand that it's just a variation on standard long division.